Hi everyone, this is Saeed Rashad and welcome to Seltem Delta Secrets. Today we talk about the consonant sounds. We describe consonant sounds according to three main factors. The first one is the place of articulation, where the sounds are produced. The second one is the manner of articulation, how the sounds are produced. And the third one is uh, the force of articulation, voicing, voiced, voiceless. Now we talk about the place of articulation. These are the places of articulation. And this figure is for the articulators or the organs of speech. We can say organs of speech or articulators. So we need to combine these two figures, this one about the organs of speech and this one about the places of articulation together in one uh, figure. Let's have a look. This is the one. Consonant sounds, the production of speech of, of speech sounds. Actually, I've divided uh, the places of articulation into eight uh, places here. They can be seven, by the way. I will tell you how. And here I described uh, the, the, the organs of speech, which two organs uh, approach each other or come closer okay, to make this uh, uh, place of articulation and these sounds. Let's first of all talk about the first one. I'm going to annotate on the screen uh, so that you can, you know, uh, feel the adventure. The first one is bilabial. Bilabial means the two lips are coming together, the, the upper lip and the lower lip. Together they make this place, bilabial. Try saying the sounds. P, B, M. So these sounds are bilabial. Bilabial means the upper lip with the lower lip, okay? Then we move inside the mouth, by the way. It's moving like this. So we move inside the mouth a little bit. We will see the labiodental. And from the name, dental is the teeth and labio is the lips. So which lip and which uh, uh, teeth? The upper teeth with the lower lip. Upper teeth means this part. Lower lip means this part. So this part again, but this time is not with the upper lip. This time with the upper uh, teeth. Together, they make these two sounds. Try. Okay. Upper teeth with lower lip. Then we move on to inside dental. Dental means the teeth. The teeth with what? With the tongue. We have the tongue. So this is the blade of the tongue. Tip, front, middle, back, root. Okay. Dental means the upper teeth with the tongue. Now the upper teeth is with the tongue, the tip of the tongue, this part. Together they make these two sounds. Try it. The upper teeth with the tip of the tongue. Number four is alveolar. Alveolar, look, this part is called what? We said this is the tongue. This part is called the roof of the mouth. The roof of the mouth is divided into the alveolar ridge which is the part just behind or right behind the upper teeth. Then the hard palate, then the soft palate or the velum, velum. So the roof of the mouth is divided into three main areas. The alveolar ridge right behind the upper teeth, the hard palate and the soft palate. Alveolar here, means what the tongue, the front of the tongue approaches or touches the alveolar ridge just behind the upper teeth, this part. And this will give us the t, 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 d. This is s, in order to feel the sound. S, z, n, l, r, t, t, 
t, d, d, d. These sounds are called alveolar. The front of the tongue with the alveolar ridge. The alveolar ridge is just behind the upper teeth. If you move inside here, you will have the post alveolar, the part which is just right behind the, uh, uh, the, the start of the alveolar ridge, this part. This is called post alveolar. Post alveolar is the tongue again, the, the front of the tongue or the middle of the tongue with the back of the ridge. This part is the ridge. And this gives us the sounds Okay, and in some books, you can find the post alveolar and the palatal together. They don't say post alveolar. They just say bilabial, labiodental, dental, alveolar, palatal. They don't consider this as a place of articulation. Okay, because it's right behind the alveolar ridge. So they move from the alveolar ridge to the hard palate which is palatal. Palatal, zh, sh, zh, sh, zh, and y, this is y, as in yes, yes, okay? Then after that, we move to the final part of the roof of the mouth, which is the soft palate, or the velum, with the back of the tongue, the back of the tongue, together, they give us the k, 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 mm, And the final sound or the final place, it's not a consonant sound, but it's, you know, it's a place of articulation, which is from the larynx. This is pharynx and this is larynx. It's here. Glottal. Glottal is one sound, but we can also consider the ha as a sound is a. Uh, uh, when you stop, when you hold your breath, okay? Like, for example, what, 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 not what, okay? So these are the places of articulation, okay? According to the organs of speech with the sounds. I hope I made them clear. This is from uh, the phonetics and phonology course, but I just wanted to record this video for everyone uh, and for the people in the course as well. The manner of articulation is different, and we might be talking about this in one of the coming videos. If you liked this video about place of articulation, we might be talking about the manner of articulation in other videos. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much, and see you in other videos.